Hello and welcome to our next episode of UGC by Talks, the podcast brought by UGC Ninja. Today we have a special guest, Ani uh, Mishra, and he manages and scale ads for US-based DTCs and mobile apps at Node Media. With $120 million plus ad spent across 60 brands, he ensures uh, the campaign results are predictable and deliver scalable revenue growth. Let's hear him out. One, two, three, and to the pole. You see, Ninja is at your door. Listen carefully to get the melody. Everything you scale can grow with UGC. Everything you need to know to create this ad. UGC can make it better. UGC makes sense. Really fresh insights. You can check it out. UGC by Talk coming up tonight. Annie, can you share your insights on the importance of the customer reviews and ad comments and shaping the ad strategy? Ad comments, reviews, these are extremely critical. Think of it this way, whenever we are going online and purchasing a product on Amazon or any marketplace, what's the first thing we do? We see the price and secondly, we go on the reviews on the question and answers format. Why? Because you want to see firsthand how users are talking about that product. I see my wife, whenever she's purchasing any apparel any clothing product she wants to see what pictures users are posting about it so you want to see organically what users are talking about similarly whenever people see ads they want to see what are other folks talking about it in their ad comments right so that becomes extremely critical for you as a brand to watch out those ad comments what are people talking about positively what are people talking about negatively and that's literally a gold mine for you to hunt for next set of ad ideas objections and all those aspects I think this is an interesting point of view to look at it in the ad perspective because, you know, some companies are only focusing that on analyzing the product itself and trying to improve it, but maybe not everyone thought about the ad angle that they can use. How do you effectively analyze uh, this feedback and put it to your marketing purposes? Think of two big channels, Meta and TikTok. On Meta, you can add a custom column as post comments and we sort it out by number of comments per ad level how you see amount spent number of purchases you can also see the post comments for each of these ads you'll only get post comments on facebook feed you won't get it on reels or stories because on reels and stories people can't really comment so once you know okay these are my top ads with most number of comments click on that ad, go and see what comments are people talking about so most likely you will see people trashing you about the high price like why is it so expensive that's an ad angle for you hey yeah we know we are the most pricey xyz this is a ABC reasons. Then if it's a subscription app, a free trial app, people talk about, hey, is this app free, free forever? Then we've seen, we work with one of the gym apps and the other one of our uh, loyal users, they, he himself commented that, hey, none of these apps are free, but for the amount of value it offers you for $99, it's incredible, right? That's again a, an idea for you. Take that objection, start with that hook and then deliver the solution with why that delivers what it promises to deliver. That sounds like a plan. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And what are other uh, practical strategies for mining customer reviews and ad comments for the new ad angles? Let's take this example where you have a bunch of thousands and thousands of reviews for your app or your um, website. What you can do is export all of those reviews in bulk in a CSV format, in an Excel format, then categorize it, clean it, uh, so you have only relevant uh, headers. Then go to ChatGPT 4, you must have it as a marketeer, the $20 is totally worth it. Upload the CSV file, give some bit of brand intro brief, right? That is XYZ app, this ABC game does blah, blah, blah. These are the two, three benefits. Now prompt ChatGPT, I'm going to upload a 2000 review list. I want you to categorize this review in three, four sections. So the end goal is to categorize these 2000 bulk reviews. Obviously manually doing it is impossible. One and a half years back, we used to have interns doing this in house and uh, so sorry, but no sorry. So coming back to the chat GPT picture, what are the key transformations people achieved after using this app or this website? What are the most positive things people are talking about? What are some of the negative things people didn't like about the product? And then sort it out 
out of based on number of frequency and once you capitalize on all of this info that gives you a clear r angle my uh, road map for you that's a great road map to take into action and implement to your marketing strategies for sure <laughs> and can you provide an example on how this approach has successfully influenced a campaign we do see company we work with in their case people were talking about how good this product is with respect to the amount of value they paid for versus the other products in the market so we did this us versus them angle using that those uh, categories us these three four benefits which people talk about the most them the contrary negative connotations of uh, those products that was one successful ad campaign which we did number two we did was for this gaming app which we work with with them we did this idea again of redoing the review analysis of their own app but also their competitors app which gave a very solid idea of hey what pro- positives are people talking about our own gaming app mm-hmm. versus some of the negative things people don't like about other apps the gaming apps. this was for our crossword app and other apps you get bored after 10 levels you uninstall them in 2 3 days Mm-hmm. this app my i installed it for my grandmother she has been hooked on this for 3 months and now she is on level 400 yeah. why this works because it clearly shows you that progression the reason candy crush is such a big hit my mom and my mom my mother in law still day in day out use them <laughs> because it's never ending and it's competitive you want to beat the other person so this ad angle worked really well Uh, because it came from a solid uh, research and insight and scandy crush and all of these uh, big studios they have a lot of manpower they always with years of experience and that's why they have been able to do this at scale but i think with ai coming into the picture this definitely bridges the gap for even the small studios and upcoming companies that sounds like a really great solution for a lot of companies but if we talk about challenges what challenges have you faced in the process and how have you ever on them number one is process of collecting those reviews number two once you have the reviews what do you do about it if you're not prompting the ai in the right manner if you're asking the wrong questions you'll always get the wrong replies it's very important to play around a lot don't go with any templates not even with the templates i'll suggest because what works for your business you would know better rather than any marketing guru will tell you challenge number 3 which is the most critical one is how do you make sense out of the data you have reviews you have the output now how do you put in practice how do you put it in your action with your ads right the best way to learn is to see what others are doing in the industry mm-hmm. what trends are working the best what are some of the best formats and then how do you make sense of that analogy and marry it together nice if we talk about the mistakes uh, one common mistake to avoid in interpreting uh, ad comments i think not being statistically significant you should not draw conclusions based on just one or two reviews or one or two ads. comments and uh, another thing i think which on marketers make a mistake is with respect to polarizing comments at times your ads are do draw some negative comments right and negative comments are not bad they are sparking some conversations they are sparking engagements and that's very important because if you are engaging users that's a positive signal to the algorithm right obviously don't want to do something as ethically incorrect or anything racial but if it's sparking some uh, Uh, negative engagement that's also good for the algo and boost up your ads performance mm-hmm. uh your top tips for brands looking to scale their advertising efforts the top tips uh, will be this creative production process you review you ideate you script put that script into action then launch and analyze the two pillars which are the most tricky one here is the, the research and putting script into life mm-hmm. so the trickiest part in life have the biggest uplift similarly here uh, the research and putting script live into action that has the biggest uplift into your performance how research is very critical and you should spend a lot of time and energy into that process if the company involved in the research process is not deep diving very clearly they will very likely fail similarly if you do research ideation and scripting very well but the script isn't put into action clearly the editor doesn't do a great job or um, the final edits have not come across very clearly subtitles are not clear it's not in the safe zone there can be so many blunders and mistakes 
you guys uh, generate hundreds of ads yourself so you know it uh, very well the very important tips to keep the research and putting script into action process very clearly in your place through that the thing is lincoln who said that if i have five hours to cut the tree i'll spend four hours of sharpening my axe oh. yes yeah, so that's the point Amazing. research is the king <laughs> research is the king thank you very much for sharing your tips and tricks and some insights on how to leverage the comments uh, of the ads and and also your app store to boost your uh, marketing performance uh, as well as to see the new angles uh, for the marketing strategies uh, and see you soon bye yeah bye well that was it for today thank you very much for watching till the end don't forget to like comment share and support us and also if you're thinking that you can share some useful insights for our listeners and you are a pro in the marketing strategies, please leave a comment and we'll contact you to maybe invite you to be our next guest. Woohoo!